Hello everyone, it's Sharon Creations by Carrie. It's Carrie. Just wanted to share a few things with you before I head back to my work week. Uh, made a few cards. This one is napkin that I applied to card topper. And then I took one of my stamps and stamped it out. Colored it with my alcohol markers. And then did some highlighting with my metallic sharpies. And then added some diamond dots to it. Had a scrap piece of paper from one of my frames. And just stamped that. That's the embossed hello that I did a couple weeks ago. And then I just outlined it with some ribbon. Um, it went on a little crooked. So I tried to make it look straighter by using the ribbon. I thought I had used a good technique to get it on as straight as I could, but I still ended up getting it on crooked. Whereas when you put the double sided tape on it and you only peel half of it, and I thought it was straight so I peeled off all the paper and it wasn't. So I did my best to try to make it straight. Um, that's Pretty much all I did with that one. And then this one was one of those cutout cut out type dies. And I just backed it with some paper so that that's what the paper would look like through the heart. And then mounted Love and Hugs with some diamond dots on it. Nothing over the top, simple. And then I did this one, which was one of the die cuts I have. That's like a bouquet of hearts with the bow, which I had such a hard time putting this together. Don't ask me why. Um, this is part of the, the die set. And then added some diamond dots and rounded the corners on this one. And threw some diamond dots on the bow. And then the final project that I did was I made another cup. Absolutely loved this one. I had found a couple of images that I had in Cricut. So I used one of the um, infusible ink sheets that I had, which is called Paint, paint Splatter, I think it is called. And I don't think... I have found any imperfections. And the other side is for mama. There is one right one imperfection right there, which it was really odd. I noticed that I had it on the wrong setting. It was on default and I wanted it on stronger so that it wouldn't cut it choppy. And so I stopped it and Change the setting and then of course it reloads and it was cutting in the wrong spot so I just tried to salvage that one spot. Other than that I did the wavy edges. There's several I think there's maybe four or five edges that you can do here. <coughs> Excuse me. But I love how it came out. As far as ghosting, I am not seeing much. It is it's very hard to notice, but this one actually came out pretty good. Anywhere it looks like it was ghosting is because the yellow kind of has a glow to it in those spots so it kind of looks like it ghosted a lot but it didn't so I I struggled on this edge to try to get it as tight as I could to get it down as good as I could but I think that's the hardest part is getting these sheets down to where it doesn't ghost and I'm finding that that's that's the hardest part. 
And then when you have a pattern like this, it's really hard to tell where you're supposed to weed out how you want your image. This one was difficult because it had this section and then it had these parts that you pulled out that were cut. <coughs> Excuse me. So looking at my image, it was still hard to tell what, which part I needed to take out. And I ended up taking out all these fingers. And then I had taken all of this off. And then I put it all back on because I'm like, okay, I got to put it back together and try to figure this out before I start pulling stuff off. So then I got it all put back together. Thankfully, that the paper that this is, this, um, these sheets, see how difficult? It's very busy. So I was able to put the, the backing on this is sticky. So I was able to get it back on, press it back on, and then get the right parts peeled. I think it came out pretty good. Excited for my new toy. I'm finding that I don't want to use um, single images. I don't want to waste. So I'm trying to like use full images for both sides of the mug. Because when I drink it, it'll be like this. So you'll see it like this because I'm right handed. <laughs> Excuse me, so sorry. But if I was left handed, that was what the image you would see. So I I prefer both my mug both sides of my mugs to have something. So I'm gonna be working for the next three days and not sleeping much in between. So I've got two of my eight mugs done. <laughs> I, I've got um, four other colors that I gotta try. So I'm getting better at it each time. It's just I find the struggle is getting that that paper down. It works better when you have more of a surface that sticks. So like this part is all sticky when you put it on the cup where all, all the white is. So that part was get it wasn't hard to get stuck down but as a whole because the sheets roll the opposite direction so like this is basically the sheet is in the center of this and you now have to it's naturally curled like this but you have to turn around and put it on your cup with the, the print facing it and so that's the big challenge is of getting it to be as tight as possible when it wants to automatically curl the opposite direction. So I think I'm going to need to work on curling this paper because this is thick, sticky, heat resistant backing. So I got to, I got to roll it. I got to roll it the other way and keep it permanently rolled the other way. And I think that'll help on doing that getting it to not be so hard to get stuck down this is the two videos i watched these girls did it like well no time flat and they didn't have ghosting and they didn't do any curling of the tape they didn't do anything special they just wrapped it and threw the tape down so it wasn't that easy for me so i think i'm gonna have to Roll the paper the other way, force it against itself. Hopefully, I'll have better luck on my third cup. But I'm happy. Um, my kitchen cabinet is going to be nothing but cricket mugs <laughs> before I know it. <laughs> I want to get some 15 ounce ones next time. My next round. But I still have six more cups to make. So. That is it for today. I will see you next week. In the meantime, I'm pretty sure I will come up with 
if I get a chance to think outside of work, <laughs> um, come up with something interesting to show you. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.